On April the 2nd, 2022, dozens of bodies were found in the city of Bucha, Ukraine, just outside the capital Kyiv. It was a month after the beginning of the war, and the Russian forces had just left the area. Some posts shared online, including by pro-Kremlin account, claimed that the scene was staged by Ukrainian forces. But our digital investigation and witnesses' account from journalists on the ground confirmed that those people were killed before the Russian retreat. I found the video on April the 3rd on the Telegram account of the Russian Ministry of Defense. On the video, we can see a Ukrainian military convoy traveling down the street. The text which came with the video claims that some of the bodies were moving, implying that it could be actors. After the footage appeared online, numerous social media accounts blamed Ukraine for staging the death. The war has left thousands of civilian and military casualties. Both countries accused each other of war crimes. Image analysis experts quickly looked into the Bucha claims. Those experts said a man's arm that was allegedly moving on the ground was actually a droplet on the windshield from which the video was shot. By slowing down the viral video, I reached the same conclusion. I contacted our reporter there, Danny Kemp, to ask what he had seen. We made it into Bucha on April the 2nd, uh, after trying to get to that area for a while, uh, since hearing that the, the Russians had withdrawn. Uh, we knew that the, the situation had been very difficult in Bucha and uh, nearby Irpin, uh, but the Ukrainians wouldn't let us get to that through the main checkpoint. We then had to take a different route, um, got into Irpin on April the 1st and saw a lot of devastation and then on to Bucha. I've briefly seen a different video of the bodies, either on the night of April 1st or on the morning of April the 2nd. So in the back of my mind, I was um, thinking that, you know, if we did get to Butcher, I wanted to uh, see if it was possible to find that. But, uh, you know, really, we were just there to see what the situation was. After spending a few hours in Butcher, members of our, our team, including our driver, spoke to lo local people who said that they knew where this scene was with these, these bodies and offered to take us there. And so as soon as we arrived, we could see that the street was littered with bodies. We first saw a group of three bodies and noticed that there were more in either direction. They were spaced out along the street at irregular intervals over a distance of around 400 meters, some alone and some in small groups of two or three. We walked along the entire length of the scene at least twice. We counted the bodies, noting that there were 20, uh, photographed them and filmed them. At no time did we see any of them move. Uh, during that time, we noted that the bodies were all wearing civilian clothing. They'd clearly been dead for a number of days, if not longer. At that point, there was no viral video on our radar. We were simply on the ground uh, as part of reporting on the war uh, and reporting on the Russian withdrawal from around Kiev. Later, when the viral video came out, it seemed to be an attempt to discredit the reporting that we had been doing. Danny and two other photographers on the scene confirmed that the scene in the viral video was indeed shot in Bucha, more precisely on Yablonka Street. Our journalists took dozens of pictures of the streets between April the 2nd and April the 3rd. Some of these photos were taken in a 24 hours interval. However, none of the bodies had moved. Furthermore, Satellite images published on April the 4th by American company Maxar Technologies confirmed that the massacre had taken place while the Russian forces were still in town. 
By comparing a satellite image of Yablonka Street, dated March 19th, and an AFP photo taken on April the 2nd, we can confirm that the body had been lying in the same place for at least two weeks. Nearly a year after the Bucha massacre, dozens of international media, including AFP, published investigation about the fates of these dozens of people executed while the Russian forces were still in town. Sometimes, online tools might be enough to debunk a false claim. Other times, it is necessary to have trusted eyes on the ground to get to the bottom of a story.